And from the national headquarters of RT America in our nation's capital. Hello again, everybody. I'm Rick Sanchez. There is a law that you need to know about tonight that seems to go against really just about everything that we believe in as Americans. It is, it is probably as unconstitutional as, as, as anything that this news person has heard. I, I was born in Cuba. My parents brought me and my brothers to this, to this country, to America, because they feared that if we stayed over there, that we would be forced to think only a certain way politically. Now, as I read this new law that I'm about to share with you, this new law that is creeping into America, I have to admit to you that I am stunned. Stunned. Because it's a law that seems to force people to think a certain way politically. Exactly what my mom and dad did not want me to uh, experience, right? So this is serious. This law which has led to the firing of an elementary school speech teacher in Texas and has even kept hurricane survivors, hurricane survivors from getting prompt government assistance, essentially punishes any American if they dare go against the economic interests of Israel. It's as if they're saying, if you want to live here, you got to be pro-Israel and pro-Israeli policies. Look, I... I know this sounds crazy. I, I feel almost crazy just having to report this to you. It's America. Especially considering that there's no such law, nor should there be, by the way, says the U.S. Constitution, that forces us, as Americans, to support even our own country. As much as we love the United States of America, we're allowed to criticize it. We're allowed to boycott it. We're allowed to burn her flag, says the Supreme Court. But a teacher in Texas who's been there nine years, who's said to be excellent at her job, she can't work anymore for the government of Texas because she's not willing to sign an employee contract that essentially says that she must not ever boycott Israel or take any action that in any way penalizes Israel economically. Now, I, I want to go over here because I want to show you something and, and, and because I, I, I know what you're thinking. I, I know what you're probably thinking right now. You're thinking, oh, sure, Rick Sanchez, of course. What you're probably talking about is one of those obscure state laws, like the one they have in Alaska that says, if you accidentally kill a moose, you have to eat it. That's actually a law in Alaska, by the way. There's one in Georgia that says it's illegal to sleep on a boat for more than 30 days. True. No, we're not talking about an obscure law. What we're talking about is uh, an Israeli loyalty oath law that is becoming so common in the United States, it's now pervasive. Take a look at the map. You see the red states? See all of those red states? 26 states have enacted this uh, loyalty oath legislation. And let me show you the other one, the, 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 the navy blue ones, the blue ones you see there. That's where the, this law is now pending. So 26 acted on, passed, 13 pending, only 11 states, the light blue ones you see there, the baby blue or the light blue, those are the ones where you can boycott Israel and, you know, criticize Israel if you want. Again, look, it bears repeating. There is no such law keeping you from denouncing or boycotting the United States of America or even advocating causes that harm the U.S. economically. But there are laws from doing that against Israel. Curious, eh? I'm Rick Sanchez. This is RT America, where we do believe in sharing stories like this, where you won't see them in most other places, because it is time to do news again. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe to never stop questioning more.